You guys asked how to redirect any Docker container traffic through Gluton VPN client. And that's what we are going to do in this video. I mean, we did something similar for RStack, but in that video, the Gluton VPN, the Qubit Torrent, and the R apps like Prolar, Sonar, or Radar, they were all part of the same Docker Compose file. You asked though, what if I want to reroute a traffic of a Docker container that is a standalone container, that is not part of that stack? And we will see how it can be done, and we will use something called container mode and service mode. So let's start from the beginning. I will use NordVPN as my provider, and well, this video is not sponsored by them, this is simply what I use, but uh, the solution presented will work with most uh, popular VPN providers, not only NordVPN, but uh, Surfshark or whatever you have there, okay? And this is my Ubuntu server. Uh, I mean, I tend to use Ubuntu, but any Linux will do. And uh, let's just see again how we reroute the traffic within the docker compose file. So I will open the terminal first. And if you have fresh installation of Linux, then you will need to run some commands to be able to run docker and docker compose files. You need to run sudo apt get update and sudo apt get upgrade first. The sudo password. And once you've got that, we can clear that first maybe. You need to run sudo apt install docker.io and docker compose to be able to run docker and docker compose commands. As you can see, I already have it installed, but if you have fresh installation, then you will need to run this, this command anyways. And that's fine. The next one is optional, but uh, if you don't want to run sudo all the time with the docker commands, then you have to run one more command. Well, I mean, you have to run who am I first. That will show you your, your current user on this system. And then you have to add that user to Docker group. You have to run command sudo user mode dash ag docker. And now that, uh, that user that was just displayed. And now you either have to log off and log on again, or you can simply run one more command, which is new group docker, which is spelled N-E-W-G-R-P. That's all we need. We've got now docker and docker compose. Let's see what it looks like when you want to reroute within docker compose file, within the stack. We'll go to Google and uh, I don't know what containers we are going to use. Maybe Qubit Torrent again. I will say to be Qubit Torrent Docker Compose. This is the one from Linux server.io. And I'll scroll down further and further. Oh, here it is. Docker Compose says recommended. I copy that using these little squares and I open the text editor because that's most user-friendly for everybody, I think. I will paste it here, and I will save it as docker-compose.yaml. By default, it will be sa saved in my home directory, which is Marek, home forward slash Marek. So I say save, and that's my qubit torrent. And let's add maybe a prowler we had last time, yes? So I say prowler docker compose. That's the one. Scroll down. Again, Docker Compose section. I will copy it and I paste it here. But this time I don't need those two, two lines, services and those dashes, okay? We only need it once and it's already here. So, so we get rid of that part. That's fine. Let's save it as it is and maybe let's check if it <laughs> works at all. So I go back to my terminal. I run lsl. Because if I run pwd, I am already in my home directory. So this docker compose file is here. It's exactly this file. I say docker compose app-d. Press enter. And we've got qubit torrent and prowler up and running. If I run docker ps, I can see they are up for 15 seconds. But we are not rerouting anything yet, yes? I don't have Gluton or uh, I don't have configured NordVPN. So if I run now, let's say on my host first, maybe let's clear. On my host, I run curl ipinfo.io. It will tell me what my current IP is and what is my current location. And I am in England, that's correct. And my IP starts with 9.2. It's 9.2.40, all right? And the time zone is Europe, London, because that's where I am. And if I check the same on any of the containers, so let's say docker exec dash it qubit torrent sh for shell, we're connecting to shell. Now I am logged on to my container, but I run the same command, curl ipinfo.io. 
I can see this, the information is exactly the same. I can also run curl if config me. This will show me just my IP, my public IP address that was given to me by my internet uh, service provider. All right, let's exit. Let's clear that maybe. So that's what it is. I am in London and my IP starts with 92.40. Let's now add Gluten VPN. So I will go back to Google. I will search for Gluten and I also say Docker uh, Compose. Maybe that's fine. First link uh, at the top from the GitHub. Let's click on that. Now let's scroll down and then we will see, uh, you can see setup. We can see an example here, but even even better, if you go to that wiki, Wikipedia, for gluten, and you find whatever your provider is. You have like table of content setup providers. Just click on that providers, and then find whoever your provider is. You've got AirVPN, CyberGhost, ExpressVPN, FastestVPN, etc. You know, loads and loads of them. But for me, it's NordVPN. If you have Surfshark, you've got it here as well, yeah? I will go back and I will click NordVPN. And here I can find Docker Compose template as well. So I will click that, those little squares, to copy it. I will go back to my file and I will now add Gluten. And I don't need again that top things, the version and services. I only need service, Gluten. It says services here, just once, and all the services are listed here. Qubit Torrent, Prolar, and Gluten. But we need to modify it a little bit at least. First of all, I don't know why it doesn't have container name. You can see container name here, Prolar, but Gluten for some reason doesn't have container name, so we can add it manually. I say conta container name Gluten. And second thing are my credentials from my provider. My provider is NordVPN and I need the user and the password that NordVPN gives me. One second, let me move it here maybe. And let me add some spaces so it's clearer. This is what I'm talking about. Open VPN user and open VPN password. And where can I find it? I have to go to the website of my provider, NordVPN. I have to sign in to my account. I click that NordVPN and then I scroll down to set up NordVPN manually in advanced settings. If I click on that, I can see service credentials. That's exactly what I need. And to see them, I have to verify email again. And this is my username and my password that I can use in that Gluten configuration. So I just copy username, we'll paste it here, go back and copy my password and paste it here. That's cool. Let's save this file again. I click save and then let's go back to terminal and I say, I'll just use up arrow. I say docker compose app-d, press enter, and docker can see that qubit torrent is fine, we didn't change anything, prolar is fine because we didn't change anything, it simply added a new service, which is gluten. But note that at this stage we are not routing anything through that gluten. Okay, so we know that's working, we can now go back to our file to route traffic through the gluten container. When we are within the same docker file, it's pretty simple. We have to add here in line 6, I say network mode and I say service gluten. And I can do the same with the prowler. Here maybe under image, it doesn't really matter, but I say the same. Network mode service gluten. That's the first bit only though, because then I have to move the ports, whatever ports I've got in those containers now, I have to move them from this container to the gluten container. So I say cut and I paste them here in the gluten configuration because now my gluten is responsible for, uh, for the networking for, that, for those containers. So I paste this, I can add a little comment saying this is for prowler and then I also have to do the same for qubit torrent. 
So I copy them as well, or cut, I should say, and paste them here. That's all I need. Now I just click Save again. I save this new configuration. I go back to my terminal and I say docker compose app-t again. <laughs> As you can see, that's not how it's done because I was supposed to take them down first. I should have said down. So it's docker compose down and now let me up arrow I say docker compose app-d, press enter, and now it works. As you can see, sometimes you can just rerun docker, comp docker compose app, sometimes you can't. Sometimes you have to take the entire stack down to be able to rebuild it. Let me clear it, maybe. <laughs> that mess. So I say docker ps, and they are up and running. We've got prowler, qubit torrent, and gluten. So let's go back to prowler now, maybe, or qubit torrent, doesn't matter. Docker com docker exec dash it qubit torrent sh and now we run the curl command again. Have a look at that. It says I'm in Amsterdam, <laughs> but I have been just in London, so what happened? Well, that's the configuration. Current configuration says, if we go back to the docker compose, in the configuration for NodeVPN, we can say what countries or what regions or even what cities we want that VPN to connect to. And our IP is shown as if we were physically in that location, whatever we, we type here, you know. So because Netherlands was by default here, I am shown as being in Netherlands, in Amsterdam exactly. So it works as expected. And just to confirm the prowler, because it should be also tunneled through the VPN, let's exit this, let's clear maybe. I say docker exec dash it prowler sh, Run the same command, curl if config me. Well, that will just show me the IP, yes? What I need is curl ipinfo.io. And indeed, Prowler is also tunneled through that VPN. But now, this is cool, and this is running. But what if I want to add another container that is not part of this stack? Let's say I want to add, well, maybe completely different uh, container, maybe Firefox. <laughs> yes, you can run Firefox as a container. Let's run, let's search for Firefox Docker Compose. However, I will not want to run it as Docker Compose, but never mind, it will work fine. So we've got Firefox from Linux server.io, that's what I need. We now scroll down and we have Docker Compose. And that's cool, that's what I would want to use if I wanted to add this to my stack, to the Docker Compose stack, but we also have Docker CLI. I can run it as standalone Docker container, completely separate from that stack. I simply run this command, docker run dash d name blah blah blah. But before we do that, have a look, these are the ports, basically this, this portion is equivalent to that, all right? And if you read the documentation, you will notice that uh, port 3000 is for basic HTTP traffic and port 3001 is for HTTPS. And to be able to tunnel this container through the Gluten VPN, I have to add this port first to the Gluten. I mean first, before I even run this docker, docker container, all right? Docker run command. Because if I want to run this through the Gluten VPN, we have to kind of prepare Gluten con container. So I will just configure the, uh, port 3000 maybe. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go back here and I add another port. I will add port 3000 on the host and 3000 on the container. And I say, this is Firefox. Let me save it. And let me say, up arrow, up arrow. Let's do docker compose app d. I didn't take it down again, so, uh -huh, all right. So yes, repeat, docker compose down. I keep forgetting about it. Sometimes the docker is a bit more like uh, forgivable, you know, but definitely not for ports, as you can see. Anything to do with ports, you have to take the stack down first. And then you have to run app d again. It will not let you just add, change the configuration for the ports. Never mind. Now the stack is up and running again. Gluten, qubit, torrent, and prowler. So now, let me clear that. I now should be able to run this command. I will copy it. I will paste it here. But remember what we have to do. We moved those ports 
to glut gluten, so we have to get rid of them here. We don't need them here anymore. It's exactly the same process as we did with the with the other containers. And I will leave that uh, backslash maybe. I will uh, remove only this portion. And now there is one thing I want to add, and it's a network mode. But this time it's container gluten. So I say dash dash network mode equals container gluten. And now I should be able to run it. Let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> network mode is if we use, I will use up arrow. Network mode is if we use it in the Docker compose file here. <laughs> it's not network mode. It's simply network. So let's get rid of that mode. Just network equals container gluten. Let's try again. And now it's up and running. This long hash is the identifier for our Firefox uh, container. And if I run Docker PS, I can see that Firefox here. And I can connect to that container by going to localhost on port 3000. I say HTTP colon forward slash forward slash localhost and port 3000. We will see like you have browser within browser, yes? But what I'm interested in, let me open new card. I ask, what is my IP? <laughs> already gives you the hint from Dutch to English. That already means it works as expected. Why does it want to translate from Dutch? That's because I'm connected to Netherlands again. Amsterdam, exactly. Which I can also confirm simply here from the terminal. Let's clear again. If I run docker exec dash it firefox sh, I can run that curl ipinfo.io command. That also confirms that this docker container, even though it's not part of the stack, we can use the network command to point it not to service this time, but to container gluten. But remember that gluten has to be already up and running and it should already have the port prepared for this new container that we want to pass through gluten VPN. And by the way, please remember that if you want to learn more DevOps, cloud or any other IT related stuff, then please visit Automation Avenue learning platform where you will find hours and hours of very useful training videos. You can learn Python programming, you can learn AWS cloud and uh, Linux, Docker and other stuff, okay? And uh, that's all I wanted to show you today. I really hope all of that makes sense and uh, thank you for watching. Marek.